Reaching within. The kinder you are to yourself, the kinder life will be. Discover your body and you will discover who you really are. Creating that audio was my intention for you to have a nicer life, to feel good about yourself, to feel more balanced, centered, feel relaxed and calm. Feeling grounded, it's a must. And to receive love, it's a need. And you can get it in a matter of minutes. Hello, dear listener. My name is Fanny Magier. I am an energy healer, which means I work with energy. We know that we are energy. Everything around us is energy. Our blood, bones, organs, our emotions, our feelings, they are all energy. Words that we use every day are energy. Trauma definitely is energy. And memories that we hold on in our body are energy as well. A part of my work is to help you to unblock all those negative energy who are trapped in your body. The exercises I did create, especially for you, are very gentle and safe. It will definitely help your mind, soul and your physical well-being to heal. So choose a place where you will not be distracted by anyone. Turn off your electronic device. Nothing is more important than you. And choose a comfortable chair. You can light some candles, put some essence. Whatever it will make you feel special, feel good. The exercise number three, the grounding technique, and the exercise number four, wake up the chi, will be don't stand up. Unless you have some feet problem that you cannot stay up too long, and that it's okay. All other exercises will be done sitting. So here are few exercises that will transform your life for the better. Exercise number one, diaphragmatic breathing. Do you know what is the most important tool you need to use to control your life? To control your life, first, it's to control your anxiety and stress. What is stress and anxiety? Stress is a response to a threat in a situation. Anxiety is a reaction to the stress. So the most important tool you need to apply for reducing anxiety and manage your stress and panic attack as well is to use the diaphragmatic breathing called as well the belly breathing. We were using the belly breathing when we were born and we lost it along the way. It is the most healthy and most natural way to breathe. Okay, so what does it do? First, it maximizes the amount of oxygen that goes into the bloodstream, leads to healthier organs, muscles, tissues, and to a greater mental capabilities. Second, it helps to have less tension and tightness in the neck and shoulders as the muscles can relax. Third, belly breathing rebalances the autonomic nervous system, reducing heart rate and breathing rate and changing from sympathetic fight or flight to parasympathetic, calm and relax. It will be very crazy for not doing it after knowing all those benefits, isn't it? Do you know what else it does? Fourth, the belly breathing gently massages or moves the abdominal organs, aiding digestion and helping lymphatic drainage. Fifth, the diaphragm contributes to good posture and core muscle strength that need to work properly. 
The capillaries in your lungs help exchange oxygen with the rest of your body, and there are more of them in the lower parts of the lungs than in the upper parts of the lungs. As you can see, the belly breathing can bring you different benefits for your health, which is not only for your physical health, but your mental health and your soul health. So here we go. For those who have never done that kind of breathing, you will need to have a heavy object near you, maybe a book, like around 10 pounds. Lay down on your back, put the heavy object on your belly, just below your ribs, and take a deep relaxing breath in through the nose, and let the belly push up the object, and then exhale through your mouth by empty your belly. So inhale through the nose, push up the object, and exhale through the mouth, like you blow through a straw. Do it for five minutes, so you will get the habit to breathe that way. For the first three days, do it at least three times a day, taking three breaths, sitting or stand up. It's okay. This will be the kind of breathing we will use throughout all exercises. Exercise number two, be in your body. That tool will help you to be in your body, to feel centered, to feel calm, to have a clear mind, etc., etc., and in a very short time. Do the belly breathing, and you are going to put your attention at the base of your spine or under your feet, and check which way you will feel more in your body. To check out, take three breaths, and place your attention at the base of your spine. And then take three breaths and put your attention under your feet. Which one do you feel more in your body? For each exercise who requests to place your attention at the base of your spine or under the feet, I will choose under the feet if you have a low back pain. I suggest you to start to do that exercise three times a day. And then, after a week, do it every hour. Or maybe you will feel like to do it sooner. Maybe you want to use your phone by putting an alarm to remind you to do it. Exercise number three, grounding technique. That tool will help you not only to feel relaxed, calm, and grounded, but also to feel strong, tall, centered, confident, and ready for a new day. So let's get started. Stand up, please. We must make sure that our feet are placed parallel from one another. Relax your arms against your sides. Close your eyes. Bring your attention under your feet and be aware of your breath. Imagine some roots coming out of your feet and going into earth. See those roots going through all layers of the earth. First, through the crust, then the mantle and continue to breathe. Then going through the out core. And finally, those roots are getting through the inner core. Continue to be aware of your breath. Now you are really connected to the core of the earth, to the center of earth. 
which has the pure energy that we need. We are going to bring that energy into our body through those roots to feel strong, balanced, and energized. So first, that pure energy is going through the inner core, through the roots, then going up through the out core, continue to breathe, then through the mantle, and now the crust, continue to breathe. Now that pure energy is just under our feet in those roots, and that energy is going to be transformed by trillions little golden lights that we are going to bring into our body. Let's breathe. Imagine now that our legs are like a straw. We are going to suck in all those little golden lights into our body with a long and deep breath. So let's bring them through us and feel the light radiate through our legs. Going up in our hips and belly and continue to breathe. Going up throughout stomach and chest, upper chest, in our shoulders, arms, through our hands and in our fingers, through our nails. Remember to keep breathing and see those trillions little golden lights are illuminating every single cell in your body, in your skin, in the blood, muscles, bones, organs, ligaments, healing those cells who need some healing and bring love and light to those cells and breathe. And allow those lights to go into our shoulders and neck and face, in our head and in our brain. Feel all those trillions of golden lights of pure energy who are illuminating every single part of our body and breathe. Bring some light in your heart. Feel this pure energy filling up your body. Take a few more breaths, and when you are ready, open your eyes. Enjoy your day. Namaste. Exercise number five, loving ourselves. We have to learn how to love ourselves. If you don't really love yourself, who will? You will not accept someone loves you until you really love yourself. And you will not be able to love someone if you don't love yourself. We are going to start by giving a massage on our arms. 
On your inhale, with your right hand, you are going to give a deep, firm grip on your left forearm. And on the exhale, you are going to release your hand. Like, inhale, give a, give a deep, firm grip on your left forearm. And exhale, release your hand. Now, move up and do again the same process until you get to your elbow. It's around three to five grips. And make sure that you are aware of your breath. And do this exercise very slowly. Feel your muscles, your bones, and your skin. Do this twice. Then switch to the right arm and continue to be aware of your breath. Now do the same on your upper arms and shoulders with both of your hands like you are hugging yourself. And still concentrate on feeling your muscles, your bones and your skin. It will be normal to feel awkward doing that exercise at the beginning, but later on, you will enjoy it very much. And then, when you will feel at ease with that exercise, you are going to say your name and add, I love you, I really do, and squeeze yourself like you really love yourself. You might not believe at the beginning, but after a few times, you are going to be able to believe it. We have to love ourselves to find happiness. Exercise number nine, candle breath. It is an exercise who will help to release some pain or discomfort in your body. We are going to breathe very fast. And noisy as we are blowing some candles like that we are going to inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth 12 times and on the 13th it will be a relaxed one and then few very very relaxing breaths with noisy exhale, like, ah. And if your body wants to move, let it be. So, let's start. One, two, three. Maybe two more. <sighs> if you still feel some discomfort in your body, do another set of candle breath. You should be okay. The purpose of my work is to bring the best of you. Who you are is a magnificent spirit where the head was in the cloud for a while but doesn't have to stay that way. You are here on earth to really see the truth of what life is about and the reason you are on earth. You will get what you want to accomplish only if it's the need first and not the want. I want to thank you to be at your service. Have a grounding day. Namaste. For further healing, you can reach me at 310-890-3176.